Oh, it's recording. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we had a great meeting last night. Um, and I'll go over, I'll just go over my notes. I had told Lauren I would type them up, but I'm just going to do it this way. It'll be easier than having to type them up. Um, at our director meeting, kind of like yesterday's Zoom call, Carol really talked a lot about virtuals. I didn't take a ton of notes. Um, but she uh, talked about how the pre-party post set the tone for the party. Uh, so I'm going to kind of, that I'm going to kind of lump together both what I remember. Um, uh, interactive and no pamper check product or selling in your pre-party. It's just setting the tone, getting to know you, getting interaction, drawing people in. Um, so that when you start the product post, the dialogue has already been started. Um, she also talked about teaching consultants how to add to cart once their main order has been placed, how they can uh, let their guests know that they'll do that. Um, have those with success to post on, oh, okay. Those with success post on the team page what they're doing. Um, hang on a minute, I was talking to a host. Uh, this is Ellen. Hey, I'm, I'm doing a Zoom train. Did you just leave? Yep. Okay, so you'll be a little bit later than what you thought. Okay. Oh, that's good. Okay, well, be careful. Be careful. Okay, bye. Sorry, he was supposed to leave at nine, but he's going to let me know if he left later. So, okay, because it's about a six and a half hour, seven drive, seven hour drive. Okay. Um, so Pre-post, no selling or products, share your successes on the team page. And what was the one in the middle of those? Teach consultants how to add to cart. Once add to cart. Replaced. Um, you want to make it easy for customers to do business with you. You don't want to make it so challenging. They just check out. Yeah. Uh, and they did go back to Trina's, um, you know, if you have no interaction, then you don't have a party. <laughs> Basically back to Trina's grow your business call. Yeah. Um, um, if your host is checked out, there's no party going on. Yeah. Yeah. So we kind of talked about that for a while. Okay. Um, we may, I may post that as a reminder, you know, we've got a lot of virtuals now. Listen to this and cause it's, it's a good one. It, I don't mm -hmm. know if you've ever listened to it, but it's a really Yeah, I have. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And yesterday, let me go to virtual um, from the next one. Um, it's critical that hosts private message their guest. Um, De the Becky Wolfinger did a lot of talking. She explained how she uses the host dashboard as a way to invite via Facebook, not just the text. Um, because when you link your Facebook group in your party on, she said the tools are there, use that. Um, they also, you can do, Kayla Ford talked about how if it's in Facebook and your group, you can send, you can forward a message instead of having a copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Do you know how to do that? Mm -hmm. I've done it. Where you do the forward and it sends individual messages, but you're not having to copy paste a million times. Um, and so she showed us how to do that because that was something that a lot of us didn't know. Um, they also talked about private messaging, the Facebook group link, not a text. Because when you do it in a text, it sends them just to kind of a generic La La Land, but on Facebook Messenger, it actually takes them to the group. So mm -hmm. that was another comment. Um, Becky had a really good analogy. Um, she said she, when she's host coaching, she says, you know, visualize if you were doing a cooking party and the host never shows up would you think your friends would stay? You think they would come? No, they wouldn't. Same thing for you as the host of a virtual party. You need to be there. You need to be involved. It was, I thought that was a good visual analogy because just because it's online doesn't mean you can't just let the consultant do all the work. So it's a way to explain it to the host. You know, yes, it's virtual. Yes, it's easier, but it, you need to be there. You know, you wouldn't have a party at your house and not be there. So it's the same thing. Um, host coaching is more important than virtual parties. Um, include, we did a poll. Um, and I really, I would encourage you to watch the Zoom because you'll get more detail. But we did a poll on 
how many days does your virtual last? And Carol talked a lot about, she was in a pilot where she was asked to be part of it. And she said by the fourth or fifth day, she said, I was done. She said, it was a great party, good interaction. The consultant was awesome. She said, but I was done. So she said, make sure you're including your pre-party in your number of days and not an extra day. Because um, she says, then they just, by the end of it, then they, they're gone. And then Tiffany asked a good point. She said, you know, you hear that the shorter is the better, but she says, everybody I talk to is seven or 10 days. Does anybody do three days? And um, nobody did three days. And um, the majority did seven, and there were a few fives also. I'm doing fives. So including your pre-party? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so, I don't do any pre-posts prior to Thursday, so I run them Thursday to Monday. Okay. I've been doing Wednesday as my pre-post, and I'm for my one that I'm doing next week, I'm going to do it that way, Monday to Friday. Um, and then uh, Becky said something about – they, she likes to run Friday to Friday so that it gets two paydays. So if you have somebody pay twice a month or every other week, it hits both. And then we talked about how do, you know, you run the post for this, but you don't close it till that Friday. So they still have their days until payday to get it in, but you're just not posting all the time. So um, we talked about how to get around that as well. Um, that's the forward, that's the group link, visualize a party, host coaching is more important, include, uh, okay, and then I'm going to switch since I'm on this page. She also um, said, if you could give one message to your team in November, what would it be? And <clears throat> it was book December and January, book as close in as possible, keep in contact with your host over the holidays, uh, use the three host coaching letters and the guilt gift, which is the season's best, which is what we talked about last night, host coach, host coach, host coach. Um, now through January, post on your team page what they need to be doing right now. Give them words, not just say book shows. So um, in that... I haven't brought my stuff in from the other room. I got my kitchen done, but I haven't brought the other stuff in. Um, what I'll probably do is each week, the little, what I said to do this week, I may post that on Monday. Just cut, copy it out and post it. Cause how many people will probably not read the flyer that I'll post. Um, so I may just take, withdraw those. And then if you think of something, or if when you see it, if you think of something else I need to add. Um, so with the objection sandwich, I found what I had been looking for the other day. Okay. Um, and then the reason that I couldn't find it, hold on just a second, I'm pulling it up. The reason okay. I couldn't find it is it, because it's a Word document. I don't know where I pulled this Word document from. I think Lisa Noto had posted it or whatever, mm -hmm. but it's her Word document from, that she uses with new consultants to give them the right words to say. And it includes on the second page, addressing common objections. So that exact same thing that you went over okay. um, last night. But the first page is actually, you know, words to say. So it's kind of just an alternative to the way that Carol phrases things. Right. It gives you, um, you know, if they say yes, offer two of your next two available dates. No, ask no, not now, or no, not ever. Mm -hmm. And then she literally says, if it's just a no, not now, respond with, oh, I hope that's something fun, soaking up all your time. When you're comfortable, check, when are you comfortable checking back with me? And then she goes into the objections. So it's okay. a really good little script, I think. Okay. There's a Evernote one that she also says, booking blitz wording by Lisa Noto. Yeah, I had that one open. Okay. Um, that's the one I was, that's, whenever you said that, I wondered if that was it. Did yeah. We Add that onto the um, Evernote or send it to me and I'll add it to the Evernote in the booking parties and launching your new business section. Okay. Um, um, yeah, I like this one too. Uh, I love how on the Evernote, what to say, booking blitz wording. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I love how when she says what to say, here are some ideas you can use like halfway down. And then for the different thing calls you're making, calling past customers, calling people who placed outside orders, calling past hosts, calling follow-ups, 
I like how she breaks that out because I think that everyone gets confused by like, oh, well, what do I say if it's yeah. you know, someone who ordered? What do I say if it's someone who was just at a show? You know, whatever. Right. So. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe we post one this week and a different one next week. Okay. To help them towards, you know, give them words to say as they're booking calls, hopefully. Uh-huh. Um, okay. So yeah, send me that one. I want to see that one. I, I probably, yeah, who knows? I may have it somewhere. Um, the okay. Evernote or the Word doc? The Word doc. I have the Lisa Noto one, Evernote one. Okay. Um, that's already in the new consultant page um, or booking parties. It says words to say to book shows and then there's an Evernote link to open it. So um, I was going to pull it up. Yeah. Past customers. Yeah. Outside orders, past hosts. Yeah. That one. Okay. Okie doke. Okay. And so that's, we talked a lot about virtual and there was more good information on the zoom yesterday. So I would encourage y'all to watch it. Um, back to the meeting. We started the director meeting actually is, um, you know, we had off the charts. Um, Oh, thank you. We had off the charts recruiting in August and September, but October was down. Mm -hmm. and why do you think that is and different things? And she talked about there's a disconnect between the belief in the opportunity and sharing. And they need to do, we need to do a better job of teaching consultants how to see the business opportunity better and not sell the kit, which I don't think that we sell the kit per se, but it's the, we talked about the urgency of the $29 was, yes, it was a great deal. It was a good thing to bring up and it was a limited time. So people talked about it. Whereas when it's just the kits, they don't have that urgency. So we talked about that too. Um, and we'd also talked about how if consultants don't feel as successful as we are, they don't feel like they can share how great it is because they haven't experienced that yet. Mm -hmm. um, no, I saw that on everyone's face last night when we were, when I was doing the recruiting thing, I could literally see that on people's faces. Yeah. So they don't, so that they don't talk about the opportunity because they don't feel like it's there. So we need to teach them better how to, talk about the opportunity like a new consultant I'm looking forward to doing this with my business and this is you know so having that mind sh set shift so that may be something we want to do at our December meeting uh, that's a great idea and you know I did that for years with Pampered Chef you know I would when I would talk recruiting I would say I am planning on earning an incentive trip. You know, I'm working towards earning an incentive trip, you know, that kind of thing. You know, I couldn't say that I had earned one. Yeah. But yeah, very, very true. And I can't pull up any reports. So I have no idea talking about trips where you are in points. So I have no mm, idea. Far. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> um, it won't let me open up and it has pop up and I don't know how to change it and I can't figure it out. So I can't do reports um, right now, which is very frustrating. <laughs> um, I need to figure that out anyway. Um, but that would be, that would, we could do that for our December meeting for the recruiting segment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, unless they have something better in the meeting planner. Um, we talked about VPs interaction, blah, 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 trip points for your business. Um, then Carol really covered it in her email about how to word the marketing of this month's signing bonus instead of just saying you get $200, you know, when you sign in November, you can get, but just by doing three average, we talked about that yesterday. Um, and then the next thing we talked about new, what type of theme shows now through December should we focus on? And we talked about this at the meeting last night, cookie workshops. We talked a long time about that because Amanda and Jamie had just done that at their meeting. Um, with the pre-purchase pull for the type of cookies they bring. Um, sips and apps, meatballs and martinis, hide the turkey, any kind of workshop, come and go, bubbles and brunch. So everything we talked about at the meeting last night. Um, and then we talked about how to bridge the team into the new year. Um, you want them to work their business to have a solid income 12 months out of the year. 
and if they um, and to help them get a full paycheck, look at the next six weeks to book like it's two months worth of income. Because and then that way they can have the two weeks to kind of just do a little if they wanted to, but they they do their two months worth of work in six weeks. Um, Eighty-seven percent of consultants are more likely to never be active after two months of inactivity. Um, and then how, what was that percentage? Eighty-seven percent. Okay. Overbooked the two first two weeks in December. We actually have three weeks because of early Thanksgiving. Uh, and we don't have to shut our doors at holiday cutoff. I mean, it's all stuff that we know. Um, on, she, and I didn't say it last night really clearly because she says, I don't think I'm telling you something I can't, but I don't know if I'm supposed to. <laughs> you know, they've always had a Cyber Monday deal, like the free shipping was $75 purchase or whatever. The last few years, they've had a Cyber Monday if you're on your customers or on your email. Um, but, um, it's very possible they may be doing a black Friday, something hmm. this year. So, but she, that's all she said, you know, it's possible. They're trying to really compete with what's out there. And that's all she said. So I was thrilled because normally I do a huge black Friday sale and I use my hotspot at the deer lease. Well, this new deer lease, there's no reception. So I was like, I can't do it this year. <laughs> and it usually is a big help. So um, they also, so just that's coming. I'm, I'm going to check the stir today. So I'm hoping the stir might tell us something, but I don't know whether it will or not. But um, she said, what if you do a virtual focus on gift giving? Um, 12 days of Christmas. Um, encourage your host to use the benefits to Christmas shop. Uh, and remind them, you know, they're getting that 20 to 30%. They can use that to do their gift buying. Um, at a, and their friends aren't going to know they got it at a discount. Um, recruit to replace for your losses. Oh, Amanda talked about, um, you know, she last month she talked about she was having trouble with the quick cooker. She says what she's discovered is um, if she talks about the things you can't cook at a party and talk about those while you're making something that you can cook at a party, you know, talk about eggs, root, uh, the roast, ribs, beans, things that you can't do. If you talk about those things, then that gets them interested, even though you're not making that at that time, which is just like any other, the rock crock or anything else. Um, there's a frittata that they were making Jamie and the man. So I need to find out about that. So I don't know that. Um, and they talked about the autumn risotto. Would that be able to be done like the cheddar broccoli? And yes, it can. And spring cook-off is going to be in Colleyville from 10 to one and we'll be doing stations. And that's it. And there's no charge for the church, but we're still going to charge $10 because Carol said, I know the products. <laughs> and she said, and there will be a pricier, group or line so we'll want to keep so that's all she said so anyway okay. <laughs> so, so excited that was so exciting the stuff cool. the stuff. Great. stuff um so for the zoom um any questions about any of that um two quick things i was gonna say something oh i tried the um i did hard boiled eggs at my show saturday uh -huh. in the that's how okay. I, that's how I incorporated the quick cooker to brunch. Mm -hmm. And then I just turned them into deviled eggs real quick. Oh. Um, so I showed them how easy they were to peel. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I, um, haven't totally sold it yet. She wanted to go home and talk to her husband, but she really wants one of the ladies really wanted the quick cooker. So, um, I'll probably either book a show for her to get it or she'll, she's going to bite out right. But the follow up will be today. Everybody really loved it. And then the other thing I was going to say, party themes. So I had mentioned that there were supposed to be the new uh, gift giving party themes. But I think that's coming out December 1st, the, the gift giving one. But we do have a new wine, cheese, and chocolate that's up. Oh, really? Have you seen that yet? No. Because the reason I ask you if you've seen it yet is because one of the recipes is the cheesy chicken dip. And it's done exactly like you did the cheesy bruschetta dip last really? night. It's really? the, the big, 
stoneware bowl with the bread on the all around. Is that in the marketing imagery? Um, yeah, it, it's under yeah marketing imagery and virtual parties. Okay. Um, I'll go look. There's up. also a chocolate peanut butter lava cake in the rock crock. Oh yum! That looks delicious, and a cheese fondue in the rock crock. Okay, and this is under sips and oh, wine, cheese, and chocolate. Oh, there is a new one. Wine, cheese, and chocolate. Yeah. And I already saw some some directors posting. Why is there no mention of wine in the wine, cheese, and chocolate oh. show? <laughs> Which is true. There isn't. There's not a single product. Really? Nothing. Yeah. I think that was just like a oops. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> I'll, have to, I'll have to look at it and see. Um, <clears throat> would it be party time post? That would be where the recipe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, as soon as I scrolled through it, I saw that dip and I was like, huh, I wonder if that's where you got that from because no, it looks exactly like what you made. Um, Cook parts can. Oh, wow. It really, it just adds the chicken. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Cool, huh? That is cool. Well, it is a good, it is, it's a very good dip. So, yeah. Um, and that just makes it more hearty. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. The, on the eggs, I had a question for you. Do you do the five, 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 or do you do the 12 minutes like it says in the book? 12 minutes. Okay. And then Why, you, is that not working for you? I've done it the 12 minutes and it was fine, but then everybody kept saying the five, five, five worked better. Mm. I've only done the 12 minutes. So I, I didn't know any different. An ice bath or anything? No, I do put them in an ice bath immediately okay. afterwards, but just until they're cool enough to okay. really, you know, peel. Okay. So they don't stay in there for a long time. Okay. Very cool. And but they I feel so easy. Different. People were like, oh, you're not kidding. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> so I was like yeah, you know, your heart races a little bit because you say all this and it's a big lead up and then you hope that it turns out. But no, they were all perfect. So you have like, them peel them or do you? Do you peel them or did they, you have them do it? I peeled them while I was talking about other things. We were, I was doing the ticket game uh -huh. at the end and letting them ask questions, which went really well. Mm -hmm. And, um, I was peeling the eggs and putting together the deviled eggs as a, as we did that. Okay. Do you use the mix and measure to make, do your um, eggs? Egg mixture? Normally I would at home. Yeah. I can't remember what I used, whatever it I had. It works so good to crumb the egg yolk. Ah, uh, yeah. Anyway, sorry, I digress. Um, okay. Yeah, that works. What else? But anyways, I just loved that, throwing that in there. I mean, even if you're doing a brunch or you're doing a, you know, something else, uh, you know, a sips and apps, it's easy to make deviled eggs because mm -hmm. that's an appetizer. And everybody said, oh yeah, those are the first things to go when you go to a holiday party, the deviled eggs are always gone immediately. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a lot of people were like, oh, I try to make these. And I just showed him my little thing, which is a Pamper Chef recipe from way back when it was in the celebration cookbook. Um, it's just using garden vegetable cream cheese like the garden vegetable kind that you can buy at the store. Mm -hmm. And so you use that and a little bit of mayonnaise and mix up the, with the egg yolk, really? most delicious deviled eggs ever. People just freak over them. That's what I've always, how I've always made them. Yeah, They're delicious. Mayonnaise, garlic, salt, and salt and pepper. Mm -hmm, salt and pepper. Yeah. Yeah. I but pickles in mine. a lot of people put pickle relish in. Oh, I, I, yeah. I don't like that. And I don't like mustard in my deviled egg. I don't oh. like mustard in eggs. Yeah. Uh -huh. It weirds me out. <laughs> yeah, but I've, been, I've done the, the garden vegetable cream cheese thing so long and it's kind of like everybody knows I bring the best deviled eggs to every party. So, mm -hmm. um, and they're like, they're just so good. I'm like, yep. Cream cheese. <laughs> Hmm, I may have to try that. I always do double eggs at Thanksgiving, although they probably freak on me because they do. They're always the first to go. They're very that good. Be, that would be a good tip to our recipe to share for a mm. demo for the quick cooker. Um, okay. On, we have the meeting schedule out. I've got a lot of things to post today. Um, for the Zoom meeting, we'll kind of wait and see what the home office has. Mm -hmm. which is going to be tight because they're not sending it out to like the what 28th or 20 something. Uh, yeah. Because it's going to include trip stuff. Yeah. We get something sooner and then the something else, they, there's two dates. I remember yeah. there were two dates. So we may have a week or so to get it ready. And but then we won't know the new January products till November 30th. Right. And I think they said something like November 28th or 29th, they're going to reveal to directors the info about the trip. 
Mm -hmm. But I think the meeting planner, where did I see the meeting planner would be available sooner and then with the other details, maybe a week before that or something. I don't know. I saw something that, I don't know. Maybe I'm okay. Doing. That makes sense because everybody's been asking for it earlier. Well, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're going to be doing our meeting the last Tuesday. It's going to be really, which we don't always use it, but on for December. So we have the Zoom and then the holiday party. So for the holiday party, as far as food goes, I say we keep it simple. I know I've done that tomato soup that's Laura's recipe forever, but it's easy with bread and salad. It's just that way. There's not a, yeah, no, it's great. Um, and then we'll do the sock, fuzzy sock exchange and tomato soup, bread, salad. We need a dessert of some kind. Um, I can bring a dessert. And dessert. And then I may put together some postcards to mail, like a true invite, just because since it's a party, it's not necessarily, you know, um, I used to do that years ago whenever I used to do holiday parties when I first started. <laughs> it was, I was a director. I did a huge brunch and I did all this stuff and I would never sleep and I just can't do that anymore. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, do we want to play a game or do we want to do, I mean, I want it to be more of a party, just visiting and whatever. Do we want to have a game or two or the fuzzy socks game is an exchange game. You, you know, you pick a sock and then somebody can take your sock or they can go get a new, so kind of the same white elephant type thing. So that takes a little bit and then we'll eat and visit, but do we want to do anything business like? Hmm. Do you normally? Well, we've never done it just a party because see, we're having the Zoom. So I've never had, it's always been part both. Yeah. Um, um, think on it. We, we've got time. So think on that and let me know okay. what you think on that. So um, I didn't really have an agenda for today because I just haven't uh, done that. But th those were the, my main things. We'll go back to the fresh and refresh in um, I should have put that on the meeting planner on the meeting schedule. So since now we're doing the fourth, do we want to do the, for uh, the second to second Monday, since we're doing Tuesdays for meetings, do we want to do meet fresh and refresh on Mondays now? Yeah, that makes sense to switch them. Mm -hmm. so that way it's not always on a Tuesday. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So fresh and refresh will be the second Monday of the month. I don't think no I didn't um so the fresh and fresh second Monday of the month at eight we did eight o'clock right for fresh and refresh uh yeah I did eight or eight thirty eight yeah we did eight and they were 30 minutes okay mm -hmm. so we I just thought we're not doing one in November because right. of Thanksgiving right I just thought, though, that if we did do one in November, we could do virtual shows and talk about all the things that you just talked about. Okay. Well, and you've got a lot more virtual stuff from things you've been doing. Mm -hmm. um, I have a few things. I mean, basically, I, I went over it last night. It's just basically just moving people to Messenger mm -hmm. to close the sale, book shows, you know. But the idea is move them to Messenger as fast as you can get them there. Mm -hmm. And the fastest way you can get them there is to have them message you. Mm -hmm. So that's basically it. That's the tip. <laughs> Do you... Um... Oh, the other thing they talked about yesterday was um, they said, hey, how do you not do so many posts a day? you know, keep it to down. And they said, you do groups of products when you talk about a recipe in one post instead of having you know, an individual post for each product. And then they said, you can put other things in the comments. You can, uh, you create an album, mm -hmm. create an album with those photos, and then you can place comments on each of the photos. You can title them and place comments on each of the photos. So the easiest way to do it is create an album. And do? if you're, you know, utilizing your page, mm -hmm. like I, you know, was kind of telling you about before, what you can do is just upload all of that previous. You can create albums for your different recipes and then you can share 
that album to your party and when you need it. So you don't have to re upload all the images and all that. See, that's what I don't know how to do. So, so you're, you're uploading them once you're creating an album on your page, on your business page. Okay. You're creating an album of photos and you title it cheesy chicken bruschetta dip or whatever. And you, you, you know, put all the tools and everything you want in there. And then, um, and then when you're in the party, in the group, um, you just share that, that album, you know, you can go into an, a photo album and you press share and you share it to the group. So it goes in as a post. Does the group have to be on from your business page or can it be on your personal page? I believe it does have, it has to be linked. So you can, you can link any group now to your business page. Like you can go to your VIP group and link that to your business page. It's in, if you edit settings or whatever, there's a place where you can link, link to a page. Okay. So th um, that's what I've been doing for all my previous show groups. Before I learned all this, I went back and I opened them and I linked them to my page. It's just a way to bring more traffic to your business page and be able to utilize it. So like right now, I post the same thing on my business page in my VIP group because I mean, I have people that are in both people that are in not both. Right. Um, I would, this is basically suggesting you don't do that, that mm -hmm. your VIPs would be getting a different um, content, mm -hmm. like more exclusive content, maybe like more recipes and things like that than your business page. Your business page is getting more general um, things. And anytime you go live, you do it on your business page. Yeah, I do do that. Then yeah. it's shareable. Okay. So anyways, just some tips. Yeah, that would be, when would, it have to be next week. Let me look. And I've got, well, my Tuesday show just rescheduled. So I am available Tuesday. The 13th. Mm -hmm. I'm available as well. So maybe now, okay, I'm going to do this. You need to get shows on your calendar. If this mm -hmm. is going to take away from you doing that, we don't need to do this. <laughs> I, I'm being, I mean, I'm being serious. No, I need to get shows on my calendar like today and tomorrow. So <laughs> it's not going to be taking away from that. I'm not going to work on fresh and refresh until, <laughs> um, after well, today and tomorrow. <laughs> it's only 30 minutes and it, it will be, And here's all the content. I mean, I just took all the notes from what you just said from the director training. We can just go over that. Okay. Okay. And then maybe show them how to share or connect visually, show them how to. Okay. okay. And a lot of them don't even have a business page because right. we just said, just set up a VIP group. So they don't even have a business page, but I think that's almost an advantage because that means that you can just start it clean and, you know, so. Okay, so there, okay, eight o'clock. I will go on there and say, and then it's just gonna be virtual tips and tricks. How's that? Sounds good. Virtual tips and tricks. Since it's not gonna be a how-to or how to make an outline, it's gonna be just little things. And then- Helpful things about virtual. Um, and I may go back and watch that again because I took some notes, but since I don't do a lot of virtual and I know I need to take notes for the team, but I don't do a ton of virtual, so I don't pay probably as close attention as I should. Um, it has some tips on personal branding too that I definitely want to share. Okay. Um, just about like how your post should be adding value more than just posting product after product after product after product. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, that like when you post in your VIP group or on your business page, or even when you post on your personal wall, your posts about your business can't always just be, hey, I've got a challenge to sell 10 of these. Hey, I'm trying to book shows. Hey, here's a product. Mm -hmm. It has to be giving recipes, giving tips, um, you know, going live and showing them something. Mm -hmm. they, they need to be more like, I, I don't know, I have the ratio from the thing I went to at conference. Um, but basically it's like 
eight to two or something like that. That mm -hmm. would be one to four, one, one out of four posts um, would be like a, any kind of asking for something post, booking mm -hmm. sales. The, the three out of four should be value posts. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, and I, I don't know whether this is what you're meaning. So like whenever, like I did that chicken pot pie chowder, that's the recipe, but I talk about how the rock, I talk about what they're cooking it in briefly, but I'm not saying, by, I'm just telling them what it's in. Is that considered a value post or is that considered a selling post? It's both, but um, it's more about giving them the recipe, I think, mm -hmm. than it is about selling the rock crock. But I have seen that people like Laura Myers, for instance, mm -hmm. who, um, you know, are really great, have a really great online presence. They really don't talk products so much, you know, basically at all. Like they're not posting a picture of the product. It's just in the video. They're using it, mm -hmm. you know, or whatever they let. It's always better if you let people ask you. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, what's that thing you're using? That um, there was a perfect example in the mega party when I did one of those engagement posts mm -hmm. and it was one of Susan's uh, guests, she immediately commented, Hey, is that a, is that a pizza stone with white handles? What is that? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then Susan came back to our team page and said, thanks so much for that post, Shelly. I booked a party off of that. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, you know, kudos to you for turning a little engagement post into a booking, you mm -hmm. know, because, that's that's the way it's supposed to work is you want to create that excitement without just shoving it at them mm -hmm. so. okay yeah. okay that, I, I need to keep that in mind that's something that i'm yeah okay so to finish out the year and i think since we're talking fresh and refresh we don't have one for december but i think i want to do another one between christmas and new year's like we did last year about setting goals um i think that's perfect for um one in between yeah we did smart goals last year mm -hmm. um but i think we could do like a big three like you did mm -hmm. like you learned because mm -hmm. uh, that's kind of my planner system and lauren has that planner too so <laughs> yes big yeah. three for the day the week the month the year yeah Okay. Christmas though is weird. It almost, it's Monday, Tuesday. So I don't know if we want to try and do it then or maybe do it like January 2nd. That's my twin's birthday. Oh, that's right. Okay. And January 3rd is my other kid's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so we may just do it the 27th. Which is my birthday. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh. That's a busy week for me. Should we do it before Christmas? I mean, that would be three things right there together. The third, the 15th, and the 19th or whatever. I mean, Right. Um, no, I mean, we can do it on the 27th. It's not like I'm going to have like fancy birthday plans or anything. <laughs> you had a meeting on Nathan's birthday. We just hit you all the way around all year long. Yeah, it's just a pamper chef year. It's okay. <laughs> um... No, seriously, that week is so, you know, Christmas and then my birthday and then New Year's and then my kids and then my other kids. So it's just, a, it's just an insane week. When do the kids get out of school? Mine? Let me see. I know that answer. It says Christmas break is the 20, December 24th through January 8th. Okay. So they go by Allen ISD. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I figure kids, because Christmas the way it falls, they'll do that to have more time, and then they'll go back to 7th or 8th. Um, and with the meeting there, Fresh and Refresh will be the 14th. That you'll be doing kids for. We'll just do it. The, we'll tentatively pencil in for the twenty seventh. Okay. And I'll go. I'll pull last year's notes. I think I have them somewhere, and then kind of modify it to the big, 
victory and stuff. So, okay. So that kind of plans out the rest of this year. And then I would love to take you and Lauren sometime in December to lunch or something like that. It might be easier while the kids are in school. Mm -hmm. um, so, so maybe that week, Thursday? <laughs> that, huh? A Tuesday, a Tuesday or a Thursday. It would, um, yeah. So I have a dark swarm at the 20th. So maybe like the 18th or something um, that Tuesday do lunch. Um, Tuesday, 12, 18. my treat for y'all for the year so uh, and I can probably Alan would be easier Alan or Plano um make it easy you know kind of go towards Lauren um and what we can figure out where later so okay um and she will have a better idea after the baby's here time-wise what would be time they get out of school at two yes okay so 11, 11, 30, 12, somewhere in there. So anyway, that would just be my treat to y'all. Okay. I think that's it. Anything else that you think we need for the team? No, we didn't do director bound as planned, but that's totally fine. We've got a yeah. lot going on. Um, yeah, no way. But do we want to do a director bound at the beginning of the year? Do we want to kick it off? Starting in February? Or do we want to start it at the beginning of January? I would say more start at mid January. Okay. Um, at least do the kickoff. And then maybe that will be our fresh and refresh for January. Ah, yes, we could actually, our fresh and refresh for January um, could be just talking about directorship and leadership and... Will be the director bound kickoff meeting, basically. Basically, yeah. But I think so many people don't even understand, you know, the basics of leadership mm -hmm. and what that entails and stuff so yeah no I think that'd be great I think that would be a good one and then that way they have that week to make their commitment if they want to do it and then um we could start it on the 20th and I say we do it every week and not every other week no every week I think it's much more better for momentum mm -hmm. and then so would we start it on the 20th yeah okay okay we can do that and that way, because it's six weeks, right? One, two. Yes, it is. Well, the kickoff is an extra week, and then it's six calls. Well, but the kickoff is what we're doing, the fresh and refresh. Fresh and refresh, right. So. And then it's six after that. Two, although I say we skip, oh, man. If we do Sundays, there's three Sundays. At, well, Super Bowl would be out. I mean, mm -hmm. it, we, we could have, we'd have to skip that week or do something different. Then Alan's birthday is the next Sunday and Hannah's birthday is the next Sunday. <laughs> and I don't know what we would probably be doing lunch. I don't think we'd be doing dinner. So I would probably be okay um, on those particular days. Um, so if we did, let me see where six weeks ends though. We start one, two, skip Super Bowl, three, four, five. That would put us finishing the first week of March. On March the third. I think that would be okay. Yeah, I like that. Okay. The only th the only caveat is we don't know anything about lead. If lead is going to be offered, if we're going to be invited, how we don't know that schedule, and we won't until December at least, um, yeah. or at the earliest December. So. You know, Judy Joel said they were doing something new and different and she would let us know and she never said anything. So I don't know if they're changing it up, if they're doing it again. I don't know. And that was at the end of ours back in whenever. So well, our nationwide leader call is tomorrow. So maybe we'll hear something. I don't know. Very, very true. Okay. Okay. So we kind of got the rest of the year planned and I'm gonna let you go so you can get on the phone and 
start using that. I've got to do the same thing. I've got to get January, December stuff, or December, no, January, December host packets. Oh my gosh, I'm brain dead. Uh, December host packets done and in the mail. <laughs> so I will get all that stuff posted for our team. And uh, thanks for a great meeting last night. Lauren, if you watch this before the baby, we'll be thinking about you tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> so that's exciting. I think she said noon is when the scheduled C-section is. So, ah. um, so yeah. It yeah. just gave me butterflies. <laughs> so exciting. Oh, and I can tell you, I am going to be a grandmother. So, um, ah. yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Congratulations. I'm excited. I actually knew that at, whenever we were at your house. I figured you did. I, th I thought you did. And then, yeah. Um, I told them what, 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 what I said something and they said, they didn't believe you. They knew you were lying. <laughs> <laughs> she's due June 20 um, seconds so awesome that is so, so they're not cool putting it on Facebook they're not doing it she's seven weeks now so okay yeah that's still early yeah, so yeah. a little bit but she hasn't felt well the last week or two so I bet <laughs> anyway so yeah so I'm excited oh my goodness <laughs> I know you are that is so fun yeah my uh I told Cooper she wasn't she didn't feel good so she didn't go to dinner I told him I said um I'd love to come up and keep the baby one day a week. He said, I don't care as long as it saves me money. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a dad to me. Yes, it does. <laughs> so anyway, so I've got to um, get my business streamlined and organized because literally I have, I'm my show next Thursday. I don't have a talk to her. I have been so bad at my host coaching. So anyway, I've got to get a system so that if I do do that, then I'm good to yeah. go. And I would do it on Fridays and then just have to have not do it whenever we had director meetings. So anyway, word for next year. That's something else. Um, I've been thinking about <laughs> a word for next year. Mm -hmm. We can add that to the December meeting. Yeah. Or when we talk about goals, maybe for next year. Okay. Uh, um, next year. Yeah. Mine this year was grow. That worked. It that worked. worked. I've looked at that several times thinking, you know, so yeah, I got to start thinking about what it's going to be next year. So mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll have to think about that. Okay. Good job. Keep me posted on your bookings, but we'll talk tomorrow, right? Yes. 3.30. Yes. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Huh. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I know. And um, I am looking forward to my meat for my lunch, my Christini for lunch today. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. Stop recording.